let's learn how to construct a parallel line. So let's create a line that we want to become parallel to, let's say this one. What you do is you create any line through it. So just create a, another line that goes through that line. Now let's say we wanted to be parallel to this one, I don't know, through this point right here. What we're going to do is basically copy an angle. To be parallel, it has to be the same angle to this line here. And so I'm going to, let's see, I guess we'll just do it this way. Um, think of it as this intersection being A and A prime. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to form uh, two points on my original angle. So I'm going to make two values there, two intersections, locations. I'm going to run over to A prime and do the same thing. You see, the idea of what I'm doing here is that I've created a point here and a point here that I'm going to copy down here. So I've already, let's call this B here. This will be B prime. I've already copied that. So the only last piece of the puzzle is to copy our friend C, if we want to call that C. Let me measure C there. And then C prime would be there. So this is C, this would be C prime. And then I'm able to draw in a line through there. To see our two parallel lines, and basically what we did is we took this angle and copied it over here. So by copying in an angle, we create parallel lines. Let's just do that one more time. There's a bunch going on. Sometimes maybe they start you with a line and, uh, and another line and say, you know, create a parallel through this, uh, through point uh, C here, let's say. So the idea for me is... Um, I guess we'll call it C prime, is I'm interested in copying this angle over here. So we learned how to copy an angle. If you haven't, go back and take a look at that construction. It's quite simple. Basically, the idea is to create an arc so that you intersect both rays. I'm going to go down here and create the identical arc. In doing so, I copied this point. I'll call it D, and we'll call this D prime. And then the last step is to copy, well, let's label it first. We'll call this E up here. And to create E prime, I'm going to measure D to E and then D prime to E prime. And this, when copied, will be exactly parallel to the original line.